The songs Lucinda Williams writes are full of raw emotions about longing, love, and love lost. I changed the lock on my front door so you can't see me anymore. You can't come inside my house and you can't lie down on my couch. I changed the lock on my front door. At this sold out week long residency at the Manhattan Club City Winery, the audience could hear her range from electric to acoustic, rooted in blues, rock, country, and folk. Did an angel whisper in your ear and hold you close and take away your fear? It's just simply hard to label you. You know, the very thing that made it hard to get a record deal now has become my signature sound. And your voice yeah. also reflects that, that range. It's changed a little over the years. I like it better now. It's kind of, I think it's richer. And deeper. Uh, deeper and richer, yeah. I've been trying to enjoy all the fruits of my labor. I've been crying for you, boy. The truth is my savior. Over the years, I learned how to write songs for my voice more, not try to sing out of my range or, you know, try to reach notes I can't reach. Or. Baby, sweet baby, it's all the same. I take the glory in a day over the fun. Williams has been on a creative roll since releasing her best-selling album, Car Wheels on a Gravel Road, in 1998, a breakthrough in her mid-40s. It won her a Grammy Award and a wider audience. The album included one of her most requested songs, Joy. I don't want you anymore because you took my joy. I don't want you anymore. You took my joy. Do the words typically come first or the music? The words, sometimes I'll get a little line with a little melody thing, you know, that'll pop in my head. My brain is always going. I might be sitting at a bar or anywhere I might be and hear something somebody says and I'll jot it down on it. A lot of times on a cocktail napkin and I save everything, I put it all in a folder. Since Car Wheels, Williams has recorded seven more studio albums, earning consistent critical acclaim and healthy sales. In 2002, Time Magazine declared her the best songwriter in America. This year, Rolling Stone gave four stars for excellent to her new album, The Ghosts of Highway 20. Forms and truck stops and fireworks stands. Yeah, I know this road like the back of my hand. Highway 20 is the main drag through the Deep South, where Williams spent her childhood and formative years. From Atlanta, Georgia, to Birmingham, Alabama, onto Jackson, Mississippi, and to Monroe, Louisiana, and beyond. These are autobiographical songs, cherishing memories and exercising demons. Every exit a little day. In its wake and memory that will wander with the ghosts of our 20. Is the songwriting therapeutic for you? Oh, yeah. It's m the life force, you know, that drives me. It's cathartic. If I took all your songs and threw the lyrics in a word cloud, I mean, I'd probably get top hits for pain, tears blue, blues, words like that. I have plenty to write about. I'm carrying around a lot of baggage, you know, from my childhood. I look at it like, here's a well. You know, all I have to do is dip my hand in and pull something out. There's a silence so deep. The sun seems black. No, you don't have to try. Keep the tears back. No. 
Many of her lyrics are poetic, a gift she may have inherited from her father, Miller Williams, a prolific poet who read at Bill Clinton's second inauguration. She used to run lyrics by him, and since he died last year, a few of his lines have inspired her songs, like Dust. You couldn't cry. It took me years to learn how to kind of relax more on stage and be engage the audience. It takes a toll on you, just the traveling part, but you know, I'd rather be doing this than working at Walmart. Williams says success in the music industry is 50% talent and 50% drive, and that she's got a lot of drive, touring with new material at age 63. Bob Dylan was writing, you know, amazing songs when he was 18 and 19. So was Hank Williams, but I wasn't. I remember my father said one time, he said, you know, in the poetry world, in the world of poets, you know, nobody even takes you seriously until you're, you know, in your 60s. Many years I have 